Oh, shit. Oh, hi. Hi, Ian. Oh, you brought your, your beauty. Hi, honey. Good to see you. Channel 8 Television, located in beautiful downtown Pacifica, California, the scenic gateway to San Francisco. Welcome to the Bruce Latimer Show. What a night. Hello, everybody. Hello, Pacifica. Uh, oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful out here in Pacifica, California. Yeah, thank you people for checking us out in other parts of the world. And all you people that are like down in Pescadero and Half Moon Bay and Montero. Oh, it's great. So the question. So the question is. Not what is the world coming to. I say the question is not what the world's coming to. The question is when will the world come to? Huh? Oh yeah. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna kind of walk down our little path tonight. You, know, you want to come to? Yeah. Can. Yeah, yeah, check us out. This is our 915th television show. Sure feels fine. Sure feels right. So the musician says to his girlfriend, his lover, Honey, I play you like a guitar. And she looks him in the face and says, Yes, honey, but I'd rather you play me like a harmonica. Does that music sound familiar, huh? Tonight is sort of a kind of a look into the, uh, the, the Grateful Dead sort of feeling scene, the music, the time frame, uh, with the band that's uh, going to be performing with us this evening. And also sort of going into the past of a gentleman that has uh, been on this television show in the, in the past, and now has got his new movie together. Gonna be a place we can touch, we can touch and feel, and, and anybody that's into that time frame, maybe you will be able to do that too. Maybe you will be able to do that too. Oh yeah, yeah. Are you doing all right? We're just, just really, really, really feeling well. Avril is here. Ian is here. Yeah, we be out doing what we can to do what we can to make it a better place right now. It doesn't change. It just it's always there. It's just hidden away. And sometimes we let it get hidden away, don't we? Ah. Well, tonight we're just gonna try to you know un un unwrap it. You know, get get from behind the veil. Let it be seen clearly the feelings that we're gonna sort of try to put out this evening. I want you to stick with us if you can. I know some of you have have this look on your face. There's one or two in the audience here tonight. They're going, huh? It's all right. You know, everybody has to carry this, that, their weight. You know, do it that way or put a smile on your face. Make your heart just start go, yes. Don't get me wrong. I ain't gonna change the world. 
I can't do nothing about too much of anything except to have a real good feeling in my heart. And that's what we're doing tonight. The band that's playing. First time to the Bruce Latimer Show. Just really kind of started out. Kind of a gr Grateful Dead cover band. Between them, they know over uh, what, 200 songs. And they're just, just trying to do it, put it together. You know, the phenomenon of the, of, of the Grateful Dead band is a pretty amazing thing, and that people want to sort of be called a covered band, pretty, pretty damn cool, too, and they're awfully good musicians as well. They played at the Hotel Utah all throughout San Francisco at the Presidio Yacht Club. I, I'm, I'm really digging where they're coming from. I hope you can, too. Give yourself the opportunity check them out a little bit further as the show moves on, all right? They're called Dog Patch Junction. They're here with us. Yeah, if you like that groove, man, I like the groove. And I need all the grooves I can get that I like at this, at this stage of my, my scene. And I hope there are a lot of you feel the same way about, about, about your life, about what you're doing in your life, what you're accomplishing, who you are. What are you, what are you, what are you able to do for for, for your, 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 your life, your world, your people, the ones you love. You just keep on shooting it out every day. And when your water gun is empty, put some more water in it. That's sort of, that's it, exactly. That's kind of what we're doing tonight. Put a little bit more water in your gun. Yeah. Steve Brown uh, has been here before, as I mentioned. In fact, he works on the television show. Guys, just a tiny bit lower. Yeah, he works, uh, works on the show. And he really has done a compelling sort of video. He's one of these people, you know, you look at it and you go, oh, well, that's, yeah, Steve. But when you look at what, what his life is, the sum of his life, the legacy of his life that he has put on film, video. It's a very important thing to American, certainly West Coast music culture. And you have the opportunity, some of you people here, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Bay Area, and certainly here on the coastline, to, to, to check out a video that he's put together. And we'll, I'll talk a little bit more about what this video is all about. He's, we're gonna talk, do a little, little bit of interviewing and, and that. So yes, yeah, Steve Brown is with us this evening. By the way, uh, what, and somebody can call later, I'll give the phone number, and I'll, I'll give you a ticket to uh, go see this at the Pedro Point Firehouse this Friday, seven o'clock. Little Green Turtle is with us. Yeah, will you stick with us a while? I want to dedicate the show to Joe Markey, who just passed away. Great volunteer, talented man. Worked down here at uh, Channel 26. And all people that are having a difficult, rough life. It will change, it will get better. You gotta let it come down, it's sooner or later. It'll be all, all right. Uh, yeah. Hey, join me in welcoming first time to the Bruce Latimer Show, Dog Patch Junction. Shannon, it burns my eyes to see. Cut 
down on many cold books And it might as well be me
Thank you. Thank you.
nice way to begin here, sort of first time on the Bruce Latimer show. Dog Patch Junction, Dog Patch mm -hmm. Junction. Hey, where, look at the, these books on the desk. Huh. These are, well, there's five or six books, and these, they're all written by people who had something to do with the dead, and they've all been on this show over the years. Uh, and they're all signed by the people. Dan Healy was uh, here, you know, the guy that sort of started the wall of sound. Uh, and we talked about that, and Rock Scully, and uh, this is a Robert Greenfield called Dark Star. What an interesting, you know, sort of idea of a group that so many people have written books about, and, and, and a lot of people sort of done, not really sort of understand what the scene is, particularly if you weren't able to be in the scene. Here's another Between Rock and Hard Places, Tom Constanton, TC, was a second keyboardist of the Grateful Dead. He's out in, uh, where is he, south, North or South Carolina. And here's Rock Scully's book. I think it's one of the best. Uh, what, he's a, quite a songwriter, or, uh, a writer, Living with the Dead. Yeah. Oh, and I just finished reading this thing again. And it's a hard one. For, it was a hard one. It's the second time I read Dennis McNally's Long Strange Trip. And, you know, the, all these books are sort of going into a group that had, you know, sort of a large influence worldwide. You know, it wasn't just a West Coast deal. Here's the Captain Tripp, Sandy Troy. Remember when Sandy came on? All of these were like 10, 12 years ago. Talking about a group that, you know, they just changed the sort of the musical scene. And I was sort of part of that in my way, and I wasn't a musician necessarily at the time. Uh, but I would go down to Danny Morgan's music store all the time, see Danny down there, uh, the owner, and with his dark hair, and he always had, always had this goo in his hair, his real shiny white shirt, and, and, uh, and Jerry would teach there. And uh, she's on and on and on, and I, as time went on, I became more of sort of a writer. And uh, Kelton Burgess and his brother, I'm sure, were way too young to sort of get in the early stages of that, but Kelton is sitting next to me now, and he was playing the guitar along with his brother in the group. And we're going to talk about what, what this thing called dead music is and, and you know, wh what's happening, what's going on. Kelton Burgess is with us. Put your hands together. Kelton, good to see you, man. Yeah. Thank you, Bruce. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Man, you, you, gee, you play an awfully good guitar, don't you? <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. If I, you don't have a good guitar, you're in bad shape. You <laughs> well, don't want a bad guitar, right? Well, that's absolutely correct. <laughs> <laughs> Your brother actually is a, quite a good singer, too. Uh, well, don't tell huh? him too much. No, no. You know, I, 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 you know you, so many of the bands that do this sort of thing, well, that's, you know, that's Mick, and that's, you know, uh, Taylor, and that's... A, do you sort of feel that, you, you know, you're Jerry, you actually have a wonderful voice. So well, thank you. Sort of, you know, kind of can get into that feel. And, and your brother, a little Bobby, Bobby Weir. Bobby <laughs> was, what a little rat he was. He, I don't mean that, of course. Yeah, I mean, no, he was the youngest looking guy, you know, you know what I mean, of the, of the group. Did you know, you know that? I did. He, he always, like, he, you know, was just, he's so young and innocent looking. And your brother, of course, is not innocent, but very, very young. I mean, no, uh, he's far from innocent. Yes. Well, <clears throat> and he's a brat, just like Bobby in that respect. Yes. Uh, God, Bobby and Les are doing this group called Further now. They're going to be up at the they are. Wells Fargo Center for the Arts up in Santa Rosa before too long. I shall, but they'll sell that place out. What happened to you guys? And all of you sort of played, you know, you, you, you are, are, are musicians in your own right. You, you, between you, you know about a couple of hundred songs, and you thought you'd get together and play dead stuff. Well, yeah, uh, our band, uh, we just started, it's Dog Patch Junction, and I've been playing with uh, my brother, obviously, for about 20 years, Yeah. but yeah. Uh, the rest of us kind of came together, sort of uh, wayward Came souls. together, you know this is and a family show. It, well, <laughs> we're not that close. Uh, but, I, I, uh, well, now, by the way, who are these wild uh, uh, creatures on the stage that you were playing well, with? Well, uh, we have... Mm. Uh, we have a whole slew of them. Uh, our, yeah. We have our, our drummer, Jim, a uh, local from Santa Rosa. All right, We Jim. have my brother. Uh, he's from actually Texas, if you can oh. imagine that. Yeah. And then uh, we have David and David, uh, both the bass player and the keyboard player. And those guys are from uh, New York City. So all right, all right. We're four yeah. transplants. Oh. Four uh, transplants that have uh, yeah. kind of, thank you. I have some of this. Thank you. 
just, made our just way take here. one big hit. About 20 minutes, you'll start coming on. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, who is that wild uh, keyboard player? Oh, that's David Chalk. Uh, he's uh, Crazy Fingers, David Chalk, and uh, he, he's our Brent Midland sort of uh, theme. He does it all. He uh, plays the B3, he plays the grand piano. He's extremely talented. Wow. Yeah, we're lucky to, you know, have come together. It's, it's actually you know, four or five musicians with uh, the, the Grateful Dead music is actually kind of our common vocabulary and our common theme. And uh, it was just a natural step for us to play the music that we've all grown up loving so much. What is it that you, uh, you know, I'm sure each of you would say the same thing or a different answer. Uh, it's only got about a minute left in, but doesn't she do a good job? <laughs> she does. That's Jesse. That's, uh, that's Jesse. It's amazing. It is. Yeah. Uh, uh, We're really excited and pleased to be able to come out here and perform for this show. This is a big time for us, too. I, I have not had a Grateful Dead cover band on before. And I thought, God, this is awful. This is synchronicity. There's, some, there's something to this. Because I've been, I just finished up uh, Dennis McNally's book, and that was a hard read. And then, and then Steve uh, told me he had finished his, uh, his uh, film. And then, and then Jesse told me she knows a Grateful Dead cover band that's almost as good as the dead. Oh, well. And I went, oh my gosh, she, you know. She, she speaks very highly of us. Uh, we, we, we certainly, uh, since the Dead's music did span in excess of 30 years and they still continue, it's evolved over time and we try and touch on different uh, areas of it. But, you know, we don't limit ourselves just to Grateful Dead music. We are, we're in the process of writing some originals and you can uh, find us on our, uh, locally, we're uh, mm -hmm. all up and down the, uh, the West Coast and the Bay Area. Dog Patch Junction. That's a pretty easy name to, to yeah, get, man. Absolutely. And I, as we've been talking, I'm sure we've got it on the on the monitor too. It's Dog Patch Junction, haven't we? Had we did have that on there, didn't we? God, I'm looking at myself in the in the monitor, and I'm I'm really dark because I've been getting the sun. Yeah, we don't have a, a lot of media for you tonight, but uh, if 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 anybody's interested, uh, you can find us on Facebook and oh, yeah, uh, yeah. DogPatchJunction.com, and uh, just reach out to us. We're, we'd be happy to come out and play at any event. Yeah, man. Kelton, thanks so much. And thanks to, to the guys. You, you'll come by later uh, and, and play a few more p uh, pieces for I'd us. I'd love to hang out. Kelton Burgess, you're the man, man. Thanks, Thank Bruce. You, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, very sweet. Stay there because the lady will come and take off your doodad by your doohickey Good. near the thingamajig. Oh, the dumaflachi. <clears throat> Did you say something? <laughs> All right. Wow, that was very cool. Jeez. Okay, let's, uh, oh, little green turtle. Oh, dude, let's do you real quick. Wow. Yeah, little green turtle. Isn't this cool? We're doing this like Grateful Dead thing. And wow, it's pretty great, huh? Huh? Oh, look, you want, you want to keep the blue one up there with you while you're dancing? Huh? Yeah, I like the blue one too. That's for darn sure. Huh? Little green turtle, we've been really, you know, we've had a lot of good times together over the last few years and people write in and, and, and want to see you dance and kind of shake your booty and everything. And it gets rid of a lot of that discrimination on, on shelled creatures and stuff. And, uh, and then that you don't have any problem dancing with uh, Mr. Blue, I'm gonna let both of you kind of do it right now and, 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 and put you down together uh, and see we got room on top of the can. Yeah, we do, all right, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, get down, baby. Yeah, move that thing. Oh yeah, hey, 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 hey. Oh! Oh, little green. Oh, damn, little when the moon turtle. Comes up, oh. Sun goes down. Uh, that's God, that's nice, huh? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. What do you think, huh? What do you think, Santa? Yeah, huh? Oh, yeah. Mm. Sweet. Hey, thank you, guys. Uh, this is really special. Yeah, you know what you're doing when you do that? You're, you're bringing out the special light. You're bringing the special light. Yeah, that we've tried to put out every week and we've been doing for so long. Look at, little green turtle's getting a little bit off of his right tit. Oh, wow. Let's, let's uh, make our little right turn, actually. It's not that much of a right turn because it's... <clears throat> There's people talking over. <clears throat> Our next guest is, God, he's spent his life, he's, you know, he's done things that many people in the scene, his scene, and of which there are many, would love to have been a part of. Work with the Grateful Dead Records. Uh, work at, at KSFO in San Francisco 
as a musical programmer when Don Sherwood was there, the world's greatest DJ. Anybody? I don't know. There's probably some people alive that remember that guy, cat. Yeah. <clears throat> he's done. He's a filmmaker. He's put together a video of all, many of his sort of concerts that he has been involved with, either through the Grateful Dead thing or, or whatever. I mean, isn't some of the people that that he has uh, performed with or uh, taken video of, yeah, would include, you know, I don't know. Oh, and, and who he's met, Woody Allen, Jonathan Winters, Bill Cosby, Phyllis Diller, the Beatles. I mean, these are, you know, kind of uh, heavy duty folks. And throughout his life, for over 45 years, he has been, you know, videoing and then editing and then, you know, doing this. It's just really a beautiful thing. And he's here with me to talk about it, and we'll just talk shortly, and then we'll look at some of the video, because at the Pedro Point Firehouse, Steve's flashback jam is going to be seen at 7.30 this Friday, and I'm encouraging all you folks to, to get yourselves over there and slide into a, whatever it takes to, to get in there and watch this uh, video, 90 minutes. Steve Brown, congratulations on finishing this. This oh, is just you, amazing, man. Oh, boy. A project of love. Oh, I tell you, I, I, I just find it amazing. I, we have, you know, I, I looked at some of the, the early photos of you, and you, uh, you, in fact, you took a really iconic photo of Jerry Garcia on, what was it, Haight Street in 68. Mm -hmm. That I means in many, many books. You are mentioned in many, many uh, books of uh, the time frame of the period. It was, a, it was a culture. It was an amazing thing as, as it was unfolding. Very lucky. Very lucky to have been in the right place at the right time and having a, a life that allowed me to enjoy the company of a lot of these uh, people who I greatly admired and was uh, left me up to work with. Have some, we want some of this? That'll be a double dose for That'll me. It'll be a I double dose, yeah. Thank about you. 10, 15 minutes you'll start coming on. <laughs> yeah. Well, Steve, uh, we got about a minute, but I, wa I, I want to, will you, please take, take a minute and Explain to people something of what they're going to see. They, they do have eyes, most of them, and they'll be able to see, but maybe you'd like to just you know, run some stuff down to them. Yeah, basically it's the archives that I've collected over the years, 45 years worth of filming from early uh, human being to uh, everything uh, that uh, performed in Golden Gate Park that I was able to get a camera in front of and be able to uh, capture. Uh, it was really uh, my kind of passion to be able to document this stuff and be able to share it with others. Unfortunately, I've only been able to share it with others who came over to my house. Yeah. This is that opportunity, putting it all together, to now show it uh, at the firehouse this Friday night to the people who uh, would enjoy seeing this type of thing. I'm hoping it's going to you know, bring the people that certainly are, are acquainted with, but also people that have no, no idea and all ever, ever heard were s things. They can come and see and feel and look and get a whole new sense of what is. Yeah. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's uh, sort of watch this. Steve Brown, thank you for bringing this, and we'll 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 get into about uh, yeah, nine minutes, thirty seconds of uh, Steve's flashback jam. Uh, we'll see you shortly. All right. <laughs> There's a, 
big pounding on the door downstairs, so I go downstairs, open the door, and there's a cop there. And he goes, we have a report of a woman screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Time. He actually threw it, you know, took it off, threw it down, and stomped on it. I swear I saw this. <laughs> For the train and these kids were waiting for a train on the opposite side the other platform and i got him got out my guitar and started serenading them you know played a bunch of songs and they all clapped one of them was mick jagger and he went right out he told me he went right out and bought himself a guitar the next day unbelievable His first guitar
Well, once a year, I get myself, I sneak in there and fly over the audience. And these hands come up and everybody's positive. Everybody's on, on Pluto. <laughs> but it's something like, So uh, it was yeah. great to, to sort of Steve end, uh, end on the Tracy, Tracy Chapman. That was beautiful. Sweet, very <sighs> sweet. That's a Bill Graham tribute. Did five and a half hours of uh, filming that day, and yeah. uh, really uh, enjoyed all of that day. It was a wonderful day. And there are multiple other peoples. We only have about a minute, real quickly. Uh, some of the other people we can look forward to performing. Well, well Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young are going to perform there, right? Right there in it. Yeah, right. Jackson Brown. Jackson Brown. Oh, yeah. Yeah, John Fogarty with the Grateful Dead backing him up. Oh. Very cool stuff. This is big time, man. You're, you're really, I mean, you've done something a lot of people would just, oh, they'd just be freaked to, to say that they could have done it. And you have done it. Yeah. Well, and, here, and, you know, here the old humble, and now humble I'm here Steve to Brown. Share it. That's the whole idea here, is to be able to finally pull this stuff out of the closet and Put it out there so everybody can see, and that'll be this Friday night. Friday night at the Pedro Point Firehouse. That's on a point out there, uh, and 7 o'clock, the doors open, 7.30. Yeah, come early, because I'm afraid that there's a lot of fans that want to see a lot of this I music. think there's going to be a crowd. We may have two shows. We may oh. wind up having to show it twice that Well, yeah. uh, and if you don't mind, quickly, I'll, I'll uh, 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 the seventh person that calls the station right now, 650-355-8000, uh, I'll give you a name and number, uh, I'll give you a ticket, I'll buy you a ticket, and you can go and see this, and then pass the word around to all those people who need to hear about it, yeah. Steve Brown, thanks so much, hey, you're man. Welcome. You're, you're Thank the man. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, very, very, very cool. Put your hands together for Steve, please. Yeah, Steve Brown, once Yay! again. New video, Flash Back Jam. And as I understand it, uh, Avril Hughes is going to be out there uh, 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 softening up the audience with her humor. <laughs> no, actually, that's Ian Butler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that should be a good time. You know, congratulations to the firehouse people doing this. Yeah. Nice, small, 150 people can get in there, maybe 200. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Beautiful. All right, now we're going to make our, our little, uh, little, little, little right turn.
and go back to the folks that uh, got us going in, in, in this direction. And kind of, yeah, they cleared the field. Yeah, yeah, cleared it, opened it all up so that we can just get our our emotional or you know unseen wings flying and flapping or however, whatever way you want to say what you have done or uh, have uh, would like to do uh, during this uh, program in the beginning and now here we are at th this end of it. Mm. Do you like it when you're at this end of it? Huh? Do you like it when you're at this end? Do you? All right. Let's welcome back to our, the on our stage now Dog Patch Junction. Yay!
sweet tonight yeah it's kind of take us all down this path of dead music and you know so much of it to me is more than just sort of the music it's the idea I mean you know before the dead and the airplane before they came in the what they would people would do at concert was it would be to sort of sit down and you know Chet Helms and uh, other folks sort of you know got into you know letting people stand up and dance can you believe that just a beautiful thing, and these and these groups were, particularly the Dead, were such a huge part of it. Thanks so much, Dog Patch Junction. Thank you for coming here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Steve Brown, thank you. You folks go down to the Pedro Point 
fire horse to house tomorrow and, and check it out. Let's go out with a little, well, a Hunter or a Garcia piece called Bertha. Think good thoughts. We'll see you next time around. All right. All right.